hello everyone and welcome to a new ik video this is ken from 49 and in this video guys i want to talk about a new future that has been added recently to the game it's a pretty cool future if you use it right which is the training camp i've been using this to test a lot of my marches recently against some op marches i've unlocked the part where you can customize your own loadout I think it goes, yeah, it goes for $10. I had a voucher and I clicked on it by mistake, so it got unlocked. <laughs> but I don't mind, actually. I, I, I'm enjoying it right now. And it runs for three months, actually. So I've, I have this until uh, the mid of March. So I've been using it to test a lot of marches recently. I have this idea uh, to not use weakness into my water march. So I've been running tests on this march here, as you can see. It has a bit better artifacts than I'm using currently, however, but it it has the same build that I'm planning to use once I move weakness from my water march into my fire march. And I'm planning to get spell disintegrator after this KVK ends. I have enough coins, so I'll replace this in a state of rage. And as for the artifacts, I made sure not to use Merlin's artifact because I'm not planning to get Merlin's artifact to be honest. It has the same level of the dragon. Uh, Talents also has the same level, I just need to reset this and reactivate it because my Water Dragon Talents are at level 3. Just the visual here appears as 10 but it is level 3. And there it goes. The power is a bit similar that, compared to the one I'm using right now. All I need to do is just run around 10 attacks and count best out of 10 attacks in order to find out the difference i don't mind if this is a bit weaker compared to this however i'm getting a stronger fire marsh since i'm planning to use weakness on it as for the marsh bells you can simply uh choose the immortals that you would like to build to play against for example let's tr try to build a high-end uh holy squad and just Use the immortals like this. Use the dragon and click on attribute settings. And simply, you can edit everything in this marsh. You can edit the level, the class up to 25, a star grade, you can max them, and you can choose the equipments. Now, we need a high end equipment, this one here. Right, as for the level, you can just write here 50 for the skills. Well, I'm not sure about the skills for a Holy March, to be honest. I haven't used one before. But as for the artifacts, you can simply max any artifact that you would like for this March and upgrade its rank gold. You can do the same for all the other immortals and you will have a fully maxed Holy Squad. As for the dragons, you can simply level up. The dragon to level 50 for the skills you can get them to level 10 once you max the level and the skills the dragon talents here will appear as for the dragon talents you can edit everything in dragon talent you can choose the tree I think this is the one that everyone is using and you it once you awaken it it is fully maxed up to level 5 because level six uh, up uh, six up to ten is not available yet, and you can edit each and every energy node here. For example, you can reset this and reset this, and you can redistribute the points once again, like this, just like this. You can reset, you can change the uh dragon talent tree and you can get back once you're done you have a complete holy squad that is maxed that you can play against the only negative side about this is that the marches that you make does not have the academy tech the alliance tech or the alliance territory buffs this is a huge disadvantage because it makes a difference in battles the data that you will be collecting from this is not 100 percent accurate so this is why I don't recommend to count on the data that you get from the training camp 100%. However, it does work and it does 
show difference and it does give uh, results whenever you're testing something also there is a cool feature here that has been unlocked whenever you uh take a report here there is an option here that is called copy loadout you can simply copy the entire loadout here and then go to the training camp so once you copy a, lo a loadout you can simply click a loadout from any where anywhere here and you can paste loadout here and here is the load i i copied a different loadout this time let me show you again how it works so just pick this and we can maybe copy this loadout click here paste loadout and you can see that the entire squad got changed by just one click and then you can begin the trial by clicking on start here once you click on start the fight will simply begin i want to show you a fight maybe this one here i don't know he was marched this i think i copied it a while ago it has fully artifacts max dragon uh, let me reawaken dragon this and let's see how it goes and you can check the difference in dragon's power in these modes here you can take a look at the whoever is mortals that gonna get damaged by the shadow dragon and you can check the amount of troops that this immortal will lose Dedu got hit you can see that Dedu immediately got killed by the dragon this is because her hp is so low compared to normal fights because i don't have uh alliance tech i don't have academy tech i don't have territory or uh buffs so this is why there is a huge difference so whenever you're about to test something i recommend to remove dragons because a fire dragon in here would annihilate the entire marsh let me try a fire dragon and see how it goes so let's just go against the same march however we're gonna replace this for a fire dragon we're not we're not even gonna upgrade that lost skill all all that we need is this increases damage yeah let's awaken this and let's try again I'm pretty sure that that fire dragon will kill at least 35% by the first cost. Once he costs the skill, 35% of my troops are gonna die immediately. Maybe, maybe even more. So we're at 86. Yeah, that's that's like 30%. And there is still the burning. There goes my march. <laughs> Heals also works very well on this march. Heals are the same like damages, but damages are more effective. So it's the, just the same concept because the troops have very low HP. So this is the training camp, guys. It's a cool future. I think there is, there should be more work put into this. We we need to be able to edit the uh, amount of academy tech that we get or the alliance territory or uh, buffs that we get so we can test out more and get more accurate results this will be all for this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day